All right, we want to solve this problem. And what we're going to do is the common denominator is x plus 4, and then x minus 2. That's what we need, the least common denominator. So uh, it's going to be 5 times x minus 2, because that's on the bottom. That is equal to 4 times quantity x plus 4, x minus 2, plus 3 times quantity x plus 4. All right, so we get 5x minus 10. It's equal to 4 quantity. This becomes x squared minus 2x plus 4x minus 8 plus 3x plus 12. All right, so 5x minus 10 equals 4x squared minus 8x plus 16x minus 32 plus 3x plus 12. Um, let's correct 5x. At 10. And what we're left with to work with is 4 or 4 x squared plus 6 x minus 10 equals 0. And this factors down to 2 quantity 2 x plus 5 and then x minus 1 equals 0. And ultimately um, from the zero, 0 product property we get x is equal to negative 5 over 2 and 1. And that is it. We solved it. Yay.